Hello, and welcome to this episode of Ask a Pack. Um, this is our third episode in the series, and today I'm going to tackle the questions and concerns most new bottoms have, and that is, how do you get ready for anal the first time? We'll find out. Now, one of the most important first steps of bottoming is got to be hygiene. Hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. I cannot say it enough. Hygiene is a must. There is nothing more embarrassing than when your lover pulls out and is followed by a mudslide. It's just gross and it's unattractive. So to avoid that moment of embarrassment, you always want to start off with an enema earlier in the day. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, an enema is basically commonly referred to as douching your backside. In other words, you take a some kind of liquid squirting device and you spray wa squirt water up into your colon. Once you fill your colon with water, you immediately push it out, the water out as if you're passing about. Pump, press, and repeat. Pump, pass, and repeat until the water comes out clear. And then take a long bath because there's going to be water still inside you. That's going to take some time to drip out. So you always want to give yourself plenty of time. So now is a perfect time for me to go into safety. Safety is important. Safety is fun. Safe is exciting. And what I'm mainly referring to is the use of protection. You got all kinds of condoms out there. There's plenty of different brands of condoms out there and plenty of different and creative packaging. But they all do the same. For an example, you have right here Rottweiler, which is the official condom of the hip hop culture. Culture is spelled with a K. I didn't know you spelled culture with a K. You have the one, also another good condom. You have Lucky Boys. Obviously, if you need this, you are getting lucky. You have Trojan, which is the official condom of the breeder. But we're not breeding anything, at least not in the biological sense. So we got lifestyles. Now, lifestyle condoms, I personally believe, are the official condom of the gay lifestyle. Mainly because they came out around the same time as everybody was trying to claim that being gay was a lifestyle choice. It was a preference, not an or orientation. Then you have my personal favorite, which is the Magnum. Now, if your boyfriend needs a Magnum, then obviously you are a very, very lucky boy. Let's talk about the next step in this operation. The fun part, the exciting part, I think I'm getting a little excited myself, actually. But anyways, now we're going to talk about getting ready for the actual event. Now, I'm going to let you in on a secret that you never see in gay porn. It's lubricant. Yes, lubricant. Oil, grease, lube. You need it. There's nothing worse than a dry entry. You want to make sure you use a good lubricant. I've used a lot of different kinds over the years, and nothing is more recommended than water based or silicone based lubricants. So I tend to find that silicone based lubricants tend to last a little longer, they hold up a little longer, because 
There's nothing more frustrating than having your piston seize up mid operation, mid run. And you need the lubricant. And the lubricant also helps keep the engine cool. Any mechanic will tell you that. Because friction burn is real. Therefore, use lubricants. And plenty of them. Okay, so now that we talked about the cleaning, the greasing, and the bagging, it only makes sense that we put it all together, right? So, first off, we're going to talk about foreplay. Because foreplay is important. It's always important. That helps you to relax. It gets you in the mood. It loosens things up, which is key, because the last thing you want to do is blow out an O-ring. Now, when I mean poor play, that is obvious, you might want to start off with a, a finger. Now, for most, now, finger, mainly because it's smaller than a penis. Unless, of course, you're white or white. Then it's, you know, actual size, unfortunately. Um, so you start off with a finger. You know, just slipping in slowly. And just in and out motion. It helps to loosen up. And when you're, man, it's got that finger inside you. You want to concentrate on the feeling of it. You want to concentrate on keeping your bottom loose. Do, just loosen the floor of your body. And then after a while, when you're ready, when you feel comfortable, you can put in a second finger. You know, two in the stink. And you would continue until he gets about his fingers are roughly about the width of his penis. Now, take your time. Enjoy it. <clears throat> let it let it be arousing and erotic. Simple as that. I mean, there's no point in spinning yourself to the end of the race. It's not a race. It's an adventure. Sex is an adventure. So now we're getting to the point of we're winding down on the foreplay. We're getting ready for the main event. That's where your condoms come in play. Now, I personally don't own a dildo. So I had to, I have to kind of like improvise. So I found the closest thing to myself. As you can see, I'm probably the exception. So here you got your boyfriend. You have your condom. You always want to rip the package open. Never use your teeth because you're always taking the chance of nicking the latex. So here's your time. All rolled up, ready to ready to party. Just it only goes on one way. So pay attention because it unrolls, and you want it to unroll over the mushroom. So you just put it on top like a little party hat. And you're just about ready, right? No. This little, you have a little nub in the top of your condom. Right there. Looks like a little nipple. You always want to make sure you pinch that. Pinch it. Make sure there's no air in it. Because that's, that's where everything goes when the main explosion happens. So here you are. You're pinching the nipple. And... You just unroll. And you just keep unrolling until you either run out of material, like I just like I usually do, 
or until you bottom out at the bottom of the shaft. Now, as you can see, the condom is on. The tip is deflated, is flat, so got a little area for the semen to come when it shoots out the end of my hammer. So, just shove it in, right? Wrong. Plenty of lube. Just kind of like squirt it in your hand and just work it on. Just work it on. Get the condom nice and lubed up. And then just get it ready. And then just aim it. And then it is time to aim. Again, it is a penis, not a battering ram. So if your boyfriend, if your boyfriend starts at the other side of the room, moves to the other side of the room, to get a good running start, get dressed, get the fuck out of there. It is not a battering ram. Soft, gentle pressure. That's all it takes. Another key benefit to condoms is, let's say you didn't get a chance to clean. I, God knows that's happened so often, and it continues to happen so often because, for the most for the most part, sex is spontaneous. So, again, what do you do? Come. Easy clean. You get a little dirt and grime. He doesn't even have to know. When he pulls out, just grab tissue and just reach down between your legs and just grab a hold of him as he's pulling out. Just and as he's pulling out, you're kind of holding the condom back. And there he goes. Oh, I don't know. Dirty condom hidden, out of sight, out of mind. And there you have it. So clean up, brush up, lube up, and let the hammer swing. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Or you can just leave comments, questions, and... Just let me know. I can't answer a question that unless it is asked. So please comment, question, and make sure you subscribe to my channel.